everybody welcome good morning um today we're going to be looking at the family love drama that we all have um some of it's uh you know we haven't all come from the most enlightened family so in this facebook live we're going to go over a lot of family issues that you might have because it's from our family that we birth you know our family has given us life but sometimes our family just hasn't given us um or you know all the information that we needed or the love or the care that we needed so i really welcome you all today to this facebook live where do i begin with family family you know I don't think there's any normal family out there I think we have all sorts of families so some of us have two mothers some of us have two fathers some of us have one mother and four fathers some of us have you know two mothers two fathers some of us live with our grandparents some of us have you know uh, um, come from a, a adoption some of us come from you know broken homes some of us come from multiple broken homes um, some of us come from families that were amazing and perfect and wonderful embraced us and other times people come from families which have been very cold and distorted um, and have left a lot of issues so this is what we're going to be discussing today we're going to be discussing your family and untangling um, some of the issues around it so um, for those that don't know me I'm Vanya Silverton I'm an energy healer um, I, I teach you know uh, energy work through 30 healing and I'd just like to welcome everybody today So yeah, there is no normal family. Our family dynamics are very different and very unique, but the only thing that makes a family normal is if there is love and if there is care and if there is really good communication and if family members are, you know, helping, you know, children to grow up in the right way. This is what makes a normal family. You know, a normal family now is beyond having the nuclear family of mother, father and children. And a family can be anything. A family, as long as that there's love and kindness and care, this is what makes a good family. And so many of us haven't had such a great family. And so what happens is when we go later on in our lives, we, we start to disconnect from our family and then we go find our soul family. So we go find those friends that resonate with us, those people that we can exchange love and care with. Um, and so, you know, as we as we evolve through our lives, we actually, we should be starting to collect more and more family members um, that keep our vibration high, that keep our heart level high. Um, and so that's kind of the aim of the game. We kind of, you you know, have to kind of like unlock ourselves from all our family drama and then open our hearts up to then discover our new and true soul family. And our soul family, once we do heal a lot of our own um, issues and stuff like that, is is our family as well. You know, and then we can have new relationships with our mother, new relationships with our father and have better relationships with our children. Um, so it is a bit of a journey. Um, so what I'd like to, uh, to start with is just to find out what kind of family dynamics you had? What did you come from? Did you come from a family um, that was very broken? Do you come from a family that was um, uh, cold? Did you come from a family? Maybe you came from a very traditional family that, um, you know, had a lot of... Uh, rules, regulations, uh, that you couldn't do certain things. So you felt very oppressed and controlled. So what type of family did you come from? Maybe you had an amazing family, do you know? I mean, I had amazing family. They're, they're all absolute characters, you know, uh, kooky as, um, I think, there was also a lot of destruction in my family. So I come from a family where my parents divorced when I was eight and then they remarried like three or four times each. And I would have, you know, stepbrothers and stepsisters and that would break up. And then I'd have new stepbrothers and stepsisters and that would break up. Um, I used to live in a lot of different houses as well. So I'd be living with my dad, then I'd be living with my mom, then I'd be living with my grandma, then I'd be living with my best friend. So, you know, my family situation uh, was very interesting. I had, I think I counted, I had eight different family scenarios by the time I had left school. So different dynamics going on. So what type of family did you have? Um, so Christina had a cold, unloving family, um, a bully. So I'd imagine your parents creating a lot of, a uh, lot of tension, a lot of probably unnecessary drama. Okay. That's good to know. What else guys? It's Katarina, traditional family and controlled. Yeah. So these traditional families are, are quite interesting because they, they feel like they're doing the absolute right thing by you. So they have to stick by these rules and regulations so that you survive in life. So it can be very, um, intense and very suppressing and very oppressing and, you know, it creates creates a rebellious child because you know that's the only thing you can do to break out of that controlled family pattern is to start rebelling um carol had abuse no love two siblings wanted myself and another sister 
Uh, not. Okay. Um, scarcity. Yeah, that's interesting. So abuse is a really interesting dynamic uh, family uh, pattern that can be highly destructive, highly, highly destructive, um, which can really um, break you for the rest of your life when you come from abusive family because it's the core of who you are. And if you get broken from such a young age, then you know you, you do tend to go through life feeling crippled unless you start to heal that. So um, we will go through and have a look at that. Angie, uh, Agni, sorry, quietly, quietly dysfunctional. I like that but always supportive of spiritual growth that's beautiful you know that's a good positive um fa uh behind a family and forbidden strong emotions family that forbidden strong emotions wow so very suppressed kind of family wasn't allowed to c communicate uh even my family was hit with trauma when my sister committed suicide i was only one and a half they became alcoholics verbally physically abusive towards each other myself they could not cope and had no method of healing except through a bottle of alcohol wow that's really intense so you know obviously yeah the, the a deep trauma that came through a family so suicide trauma could also be debt uh breaking your house and then the whole family um system collapses because they couldn't deal with the deep pain that was going on well that's really hard um, Maria, traditional family, Justina, parents argued arguments than divorce. So yeah, that can be really traumatic if there's lots of fighting going along and you, and you feel very confused about what's happening. Sonia, family of four, parents working and looking after me and my brother, struggling to provide for us. Both highly educated, working, but a lot of hardship, ancestral poverty. We'll talk about ancestral poverty. Um, but yeah, sometimes parents can't be parents because they've just got to survive. They've got to go out there and start working really, really hard to provide for the family. And, you know, by the time they get home, they're exhausted. Um, and, you know, just coming from that lack, lack of money and then lack of love um, can be a lot of poverty on many levels going on. Chris here, both my parents have died. My father had post-traumatic stress because of war trauma. My mother grew up with nuns. She worked so hard to support her children, three children, but very stressed and became sick with rheumatoid arthritis. I felt I needed to heal her. I was just a little girl. And so, yeah, that's really interesting, actually. Some of us um, come from families where we have, where the children have to end up caring for the parents. Uh, it's quite common. So if there's mental illness in the family, if there's uh, physical disabilities, the children are the ones that become the parents. They become become the carers and it can be very dis very difficult when a child has to grow up quickly so they actually don't get that um those initial play years those initial you know re relaxed children years so they have to grow up really really quickly so they miss it they get stunted from their you know their inner child uh, from developing and what can happen if children that grow up you know, over quickly, they get too serious in life, uh, they get too over responsible, and they just feel the the burden of the world on them all the time. So yeah, that can be quite intense. Daria loved both my parents, father never home, not so much loving exchange in jail, but both children, both to children and between parents. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, father goes away to work, uh, for one parent's absent, like, the, you know, this is the interesting thing about family. So they, you can be in like a highly functioning dysfunctioning family so everything seems all right like you know things are being provided for you know you're still mother father together but maybe father's really absent with work maybe mother's really absent uh in in her own stuff so it can be very confusing for a child because it's like well everything seems like it's in place but it doesn't feel like it's in place you know and and so it's like well something's not right here what's not what's not right and you can go on feeling a little bit confused about that uh Pavati parents divorced when I was a baby and they they were both just tired to sort their lives out and not care much about my sister and myself yeah sometimes you know parents also have children when they're not ready to have children and they're not even aware of the impact that children have on on someone's lives and so they can uh, deny the fact that they have children and deny their parental role um pro properly and it's quite a common a common trait um Newell, conservative, cold father, carer, dadless, unsupported mum. Yeah, that's difficult when there's when there's coldness uh, in the family, love's not flowing. Um, Michaela, I never felt part of the family like I did not belong there, even though I had both parents and they were loving to me. Something was missing. Yeah, interesting on that one. Sometimes we feel on a soul level we don't belong to our family. Sometimes we're like, this family just doesn't make sense to me. I don't feel like I'm a part of this um this dynamic and and you can always feel like you're an you're an orphan or you're in the wrong family it can be quite common okay uh, i'll read out a couple more sana controlled abuse family and always had drama from nothing to show their love you have to do something to please them 
Yeah, rebellious, stubborn, angry child. Yeah, th these can be quite interesting where there's a lot of um, manipulation and codependence and what you everything you do is wrong and you're trying to please and then when you please, it's not the right thing. And then, yeah, th quite complicated tangles there. Bhavna, raised by grandma, not sure if my mother is my mother. Parents then divorced. Father, abusive, alcoholic, lack of love, lack of affection. Wow, there's a lot to heal there, Bhavna. Um, yeah interesting yeah we come from such interesting families okay all right okay let's begin at the beginning so basically um you know you're here your family is designed to grow you up okay your family is your mother and your father you know if, if we look really at the truth of it okay let's forget about all the, the dramas that we have for a moment and let's go back to the truth of a family so the truth of a family is is that mother is supposed to grow you into love father is supposed to grow you into love you know father's energy and that male energy is, you know it helps to grow you into being uh, assertive and courageous and independent and mother's energy helps you to grow up into being intuitive and caring um, and they both have their individual wisdoms you know both your parents have have learned a lot by life and they're here to actually show you um, teach you all the things that they've learned so that you can go to the next level in your life that that's that's the plan because basically humanity um, humanity uh, hum let me start again humans are based on evolution okay and we get tools handed down generations through the generations through the generations so that we can have an easier life and that's the journey of evolution you know i'm here to learn everything i can and i pass that learning on to my daughter so hopefully by the time she leaves school she's got so much learning behind her that she can jump to the next level in her life okay so we are beings of evolution and it's our parents our family that should be evolving us to the next level quicker okay that's kind of the aim of the game and the journey of love because this is this is a series about love is that our family is supposed to birth us into life it is through the vibration of love okay so father's love mother's love grandparents love uh, children's love that the, the soul, your soul, gets to birth into life. So mother's love is going to encourage your soul out. Father's love is going to help push your soul out into life to make you feel more bolder and more courageous. So your parents, your family is actually here. Yes, they create you at, from conception, moment of conception. Yes, your mom carries you through that, that experience of, of, of the pregnancy and grows you into a human. But once you come out, it's your parents' role on an emotional, mental, and spiritual level to grow you, to incarnate your soul into your body through the energy of love, okay? Um, now, when love is absent, that part gets missing. So you may feel like you weren't birthed into life properly. So when love is absent, so father, mother didn't birth you into love, you can feel like, oh my God, I feel like I'm in the wrong family. I feel like I'm in the wrong body. Um, I feel like I'm half here, but not completely here. Um, you know, when you grow up in family environments that are unsafe, that are full of abuse, alcoholism, arguments, drama, the environment you, you as a child, you pick that up and you're like, oh my God, this is too safe to too unsafe to exist in this is not a safe place i cannot exist in this in this unsafe place okay there, there's drama there's trauma so what happens on a soul level is that you don't put yourself back you kind of pull yourself out of your body so it's almost like then you're, you're kind of half in half out you don't trust life you kind of become very wary um you don't trust people you you your your worldview becomes very distorted because it's from those years of like zero to eight is where you're just kind of like a Bond and that forms your worldview at that time. So depending on the family environment that you grew in uh, indicates how much you've incarnated into your body. Are you guys with me on this one? Does that make sense to you? Um, so other things can happen. So if your family was very abusive to you, like angry, yelled at you, um, the, that can also stop you from incarnating into your body. So then you go, oh, you, you, they break you. You know, you can get broken physically by someone's physical 
punch, you know, like physical, but you can also get broken by someone's words. You can get broken by their anger because anger is a force. When you're a child, you know, anger comes in like a force into your body and it can break you. So if you've been yelled at, if you've been told that you're nothing, if you've been put down, if you've been shamed, if you've been controlled, that can break your spirit and then stop you from coming out, it coming into the world. And so the, 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 when, when you look at the energy body of someone that comes from a very broken home, actually energetically inside of them they're also very broken the energy pathways are very broken inside their body and you know the energy pathways should be all nice and you know flowing with love so that the soul can come out into the world you know the energy pathways are like scaffolding you know to hold your magnificent soul into the world and you know when then there's a lot of brokenness in the family those energy pathways get broken and the soul can't incarnate into the in, into physical reality and so what happens then is that when the soul does try to incarnate the soul comes in fractured it comes in broken it comes in distorted um, because it's had to move through a body that's had so much pain and so much trauma uh, in this world Okay, so then what happens is, is that the journey then for us to do is to um, recreate and reheal the corrupted love patterns inside of us. So when we grow up in a traumatic family, broken family, family that's confused, a family that lies to us, sometimes our family lies to us, you know? They could say that, you know, I've had this recently, oh, they, they tell you that you've got a different you know, mother, like this is your mother, but actually you actually belong to the mother's brother or something like that. You know, families lie a lot as well because they're trying to hide things, you know. Um, and, and that also stops you from picking up uh, you, you, your your intuition becomes scrambled then. And then you start to feel like you, you can't assess the environment properly. Because if you grow up in a family where they're saying one thing, but you're feeling a different energy under it, you're like, but my family's supposed to be telling me the truth. And I'm feeling all this other energy. You know, they're saying everything's fine and yet I'm feeling all this tension. They're saying it's fine yet I'm feeling very unstable. And so that also then makes you feel like you can't trust your own intuitive senses or your uh, intuitive response to the environment because they've scrambled it. You know, when, when, when you get people that say one thing and you have to believe it as truth, but that's not the truth, that can scramble your intuition. So you may have then grown up feeling like you can't trust your heart, you can't trust your mind, um, you, you're not quite sure what the right thing to do is. Um, so uh, that that can also happen when you're, you're in a family um, with a lot of, uh, you know, lies and things like that. So... Um, so the aim of the game then is to unlock all these corruptions that you've been taught. So what happens is that love, um, love, the definition of love, right? We talked about this in, an, in, in the last Facebook love. Love gives birth to many virtues of courage, patience, tolerance, wisdom, kindness, joy, generosity, um, communication. And it's our family supposed to bring us all these virtues of love to us. Now, if we come from a family that hasn't mastered the virtues of love, they're going to give us corrupted and distorted concepts of love. So they're going to do things like love equals pain, love equals hurt, love equals uh, abuse, love equals lies, love equals uh, disconnection, okay? And so then we get like a scrambled sense of love and then later on in life we can attract those scrambled sense of love in other people or we create dramatic relationships when we go into relationships or we attract people that are full of the same corruptions inside and then we wonder why we're not having healthy relationships because we're just still playing out the drama inside. So we have to recorrect our definition of love inside of us. We have to heal all the broken paradigms, uh, or sorry, the broken energy pathways that are inside of us so that we can birth more into life, okay? Um, and then we also have to learn at the end of the day, you're going to be your, your best mother and your best father. You have to regrow yourself back up again, you know? We're all here to regrow ourselves back up again. Nobody comes from a perfect family, but we all have to regrow ourselves back up again. I think that's really important that you um, can no longer live in the blame of your family corrupting you. You have to take rapid responsibility um, and recreate um Recreate your life, recreate your family patterns, recreate your mother's dynamics to you, recreate your father's dynamics and reheal you. Because I know um, on one level they say you've chosen your family, you've chosen all the, you know, uh, you've chosen your family to, to learn your spiritual lessons or, or whatever that is. But I actually think 
it's a little bit different than that. I actually think that you, you're an amazing soul. You're an amazing, vibrant, extraordinary, magnificent, strong soul. And inside of you is, is, is completely complete. Within you, within your soul, you understand how to master love. You understand how to master abundance. You know that already at the core of your being. And I have a feeling you went instead, thought, you know what? I'm going to choose the crappiest parents to be born into with the crazy amount of genetic information so that I can go in there and re-evolve humanity to go to the next level. Okay, so I I don't go into this drama of like, oh, I ch and you know, on some level it's true. You you learn lessons from your family, but you learn lessons from every situation in life. You learn lessons from every job you've been into. You learn lessons from you know, life is about learning lessons. But I don't go into the drama that like, oh, I must have chosen my really bad family because of of my bad karma, and I have to kind of, you know, relive this again because in a past life I, you know, was horrible to somebody else. No, I I actually come into this uh, with the understanding that at the depths of my being, I have a strength and a knowledge and a wisdom that is purely love, and I choose to evolve what I have been. Born into, I choose to reheal that which I've been born into. I choose to transform the corruptions that were put upon me, so that it does not go into the next generation. And I think that's a very important mindset to have because then it moves you out of being a victim, and it moves you back into being a warrior. Should we attempt, people? Should we attempt in twenty minutes, thirty minutes? I'm going to do an energy clearing on you. Let's set the intention to clear as much of this stuff as possible. Let, let, why don't we just set the clear, set the intent that we can clear all this family stuff in this one session so that you guys can move forward. So you guys ready to make that intention now with me? Because if you do, then I can, I can help you more. Okay, so I want to hear a yes. You guys ready to clear all this stuff? All righty, let's do it. Okay. All right, so you're going to close your eyes. You're going to... Just close your eyes and you're going to breathe really deeply. And I want you to feel light all around you. And I want to feel within your cells that there's light buzzing through your cells as well. Okay. And I'm just going to send down this beautiful vortex of light. So from the heavens, you're going to see this massive vortex of light spinning down, spinning down, spinning down, all the way down through your body. Okay. And it's going to start pulling stuff out. It's a very big vortex of light. And the first thing we're going to start to release from you is the deep pain in your heart. So you might feel some deep pain, some deep sadness, some deep un, uh, maybe repressed energy, repressed feelings that are inside about your family. Maybe things that you haven't been able to communicate. They're just feelings, emotions that you just stuff down, stuff down, stuff down, stuff down, stuff down, stuff down. Okay. So you're going to let this vortex of light spin, 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 spin into your heart. And we're going to start to pull all of that out. Let it all go. Let it all go. Okay, good, 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 good. Now I'm going to go through and we're going to start to let all, so you guys have still got some like really deep stuff, deep emotions stored in the depths of your heart. I want you to go deeper into your heart. Let the light come in and just let all of that, that stuff release. There's just some, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like I'm pulling out a lot of darkness from people. Can I release from you all the abuse consciousness that you may have experienced? Can I release from you all your family arguments or the family drama that you may have experienced? Can we release from you all your mother's emotions that are stuck inside of you or your father's emotions that are stuck inside of you? And can we release all your brother's and sister's emotions that are stuck inside of you? Let them all go.
cause a lot of heaviness there can i release all the broken hearts that your family has given to you and can we now release all the confusion that's been given to you from your family so i just feel like there's all this massive confusion around the head so just letting light come in can we release the confusion can we release all the lies that they've told you Can we release all the mis misinformation? Like sometimes they think they're giving you the right information, but it's actually misinformation. So just let all the misinformation release from you. And that's deep painful for some of you guys, being told the wrong things. Just, and I feel like as that misinformation's releasing from you, there's like a lot of deep hurt that wants to come out as well. So you can allow that to come, release. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so can we heal all the broken energy lines that are inside of you from your family? Some of you might have more broken energy lines around your heart. Some of you might feel more broken energy lines around your stomach, your womb space. Just, I'm going to send light down through you and you're just going to witness all the broken little energy pathways inside of you rehealing. You've got hundreds of energy pathways. Let's begin by just sending light through them and rehealing them. So you might feel light coming all the way down through your body, through your arms, your legs, like little lines, rehealing, repairing. Some of you guys, I feel some very deep breaks, so I'm just gonna just allow more light to come into there, just to heal it. Okay, letting it all come down. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I just feel like there's so much energy pathways inside you healing. We're just going to stay here for a little bit longer until you feel more and more energy pathways healing, more and more energy pathways lighting up inside your body. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now I'm just going to pour the vibration of love back into you. So can we return all the missing information that you had about love to you? So just letting your whole body fill up with love. So imagine this beautiful light coming all the way down from your crown, all the way down through your body. And I want you to witness love going into every single part of you. So you might feel some pockets inside your body which have never actually had love touch it or never actually experienced love. There we go, just letting love go all the way down to your toes. And for some of you, I feel like crying, it's like love's touching you and then it's like all the grief, the tears of not being loved. So can we release all the grief, all the tears, all the sadness of not being loved truly by your family? And can we allow that to go now? Because really that's just, you know, just let it go because ultimately you come from love. You know, you've got all the love within you already. So can you now allow your cells to open up with your soul vibration, your essence, the energy of pure love and just let the gateway of love open up through your body. So just see all your cells opening up and just letting the gateway of love flow through you. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, 
okay keep letting love open up in your cells keep letting it overflow can i teach you what it feels like for you to love yourself like a mother should have loved you and i want you to allow your cells to overflow your body with love so all your cells are opening up and they're bringing to you mother's love because inside of you is coded with all the information you need so just allow mother's love to return to you let your cells open up and just return mother's love to your body let your cells open up and return mother's love to your mind let your cells open up and return mother's love to your heart Okay, beautiful. Now you're going to let your cells open up and actually one more place. Can you let um, mother's love open up and return love to your stomach so that you feel what it feels like to be nurtured by mother's love, nourished by mother's love? Good. Can you let your cells open up and return Father's love to you? So now let your cells open up and let Father's love birth through you. Can we teach you what it feels like for Father's love to make you strong, and make you courageous? Can you let Father's love open up through you and, and let Father's love heal your mind? true father's love so all the missing information around father's love you're going to now let it overflow from your being let father's love go into your heart let father's love flow into your stomach your legs your bones can you now allow the union so the mother's love that's flowing through you and the father's love that's flowing through you can you now allow those two energies to unite can we teach you what it feels like for father to love mother and mother to love father and father's love to love mother's love and mother's love to love father's love and what it feels like to have that combined vibration of love inside of you? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And just feel what that union of that mother's love, father's love feels like. Can you now, and it feels very warming. I feel for a lot of you, it's healing like a deep crack in your heart. So if you're someone who's got like a deep crack, a deep family heart crack that runs through your heart chakra, I want you to allow that combined energy of mother's love, father's love to go into that crack and just love that crack hole again. Okay, letting it go in, letting it go in, letting it go in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, this is very beautiful what's going to come up next. So letting mother's love, father's love, love right to the depths of your heart that you're going to start to feel a little star appearing in your heart. And that star is you. That's your essence. So can we teach you what it feels like for mother's love, father's love to ignite you, to create you and ignite that star inside your heart? Can we teach you what it feels like for mother's love, father's love to birth you into this reality? So you're going to feel that beautiful supportive energy of your mother, father, just helping to birth that beautiful star of you into life. So letting that star get bigger and brighter.
Okay, just now I can feel your star, that heart star getting so much bigger and brighter. So can we just teach you what it feels like for you to birth yourself into life? So you're going to let all the other information come out of your cells and just go into this beautiful star, which is you, and just birth more of your light into your body. So you might start to feel this beautiful light opening up, expanding in your heart chakra. And as that happens, you're going to, it feels, it feels like a very silvery energy to me. You're going to let that beautiful heart star, which is your soul basically, you're going to let it shine through all those new, those energy pathways in your body. So you're going to reclaim yourself again. So you're going to let your soul light go through all those energy pathways that have just been healed. There's hundreds of energy pathways. And you're going to reclaim your being back. You're going to reclaim your body back. Letting your soul like run through all the energy pathways in your hands, your fingers, your arms, your legs, your toes. And it's really beautiful. As I see you reclaiming your body back, I see this old energy releasing from you. So can we, as you claim your body back with your light, can we, re, can we release that which is not you? Can we release all the parts of you that you thought you were that isn't actually you? And I just feel like all this dark gray energy is coming out of your body. So let's release all that old identity or maybe it's the victim of not feeling loved. Maybe it's the, oh my God, I come from a troubled family. Maybe it's the consciousness of like, oh my God, it's all my fault, my family. Just letting it all go. There we go, there we go. Some of you, yeah, I just feel like there's still old identity releasing from you. So I feel like it's stuck in your head area. So you might want to just let your head open up like a volcano and just let all that old identity or the old identity of, you know, how your family may have crippled you or the old identity of maybe how that you've been abused or the old identity that your family's done the wrong thing by you. Just let it go. You don't need to be stuck in those stories anymore. Let it go now. Very good, very good, very good. So still letting your soul light now go up to your brain. So that beautiful sparkly light of your true energy, let it go into your brain and let it go through all your neural pathways so that you're re-imprinting your brain with your truth. Okay, this is very important. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to laser through life. So re-imprinting your, your neural pathways with your soul energy. So let your soul light shine up to your brain. You might feel your brain reorganizing itself, recircuiting itself. Now, you're going to let your soul light come out your ears so that you can hear better, you, you can hear yourself better. You're going to let your soul light come out of your eyes so you can see yourself better. Now, a lot of you, as I'm seeing the soul light come up from the heart into the head, you've got this massive uh, block at the pineal glands. Uh, or crown chakra so it's like stopping you from really having a good connection and what I see there is a lot of ancestral programming around poverty like you can't have this you can't have that life's full of lack or um, drama around uh, you know you have to fear God or all that religious uh, drama that maybe your, your, your ancestors have been caught in um, there's also a lot of uh, disappointment hard done by energy uh, in there. So if your family's, if you've grown to a family that feels like they've been hard done by, it, it's kind of, it feels like it's like stuck around the pineal gland and we need to just unlock the pineal gland now. So I want you to visualize from your depths from your heart, a big beam of light going into the center of your heart and we're just going to unlock all that ancestral programming from the pineal glands, which is really the master cell in the body. So letting all that ancestral programming go. For some of you, it's quite a lot. It might feel a bit heavy, like it's a bit stuck. But I'm going to send some more energy in. So just let more energy come in and unlock it. And just wait for that to just burst open. 
the top of that light just to go from your heart through the pineal gland and letting it open up there. And we're just clearing out a lot of ancestral programming from you like this because that's what you've asked for. <laughs> letting it all go. Okay. Much better, much better, much better. I'm just there's some healing energy coming down into your pineal gland because it's been so corrupted with all the ancestral programmings. Let healing energy come into the pineal gland and just reheal it, reorganize it. Um, it feels like it's all untangling. I don't know. You might get some interesting sensations there. Okay, there we go. Much better. So I just feel such a much clearer path here. Oh, take a deep breath. You might now feel like a lot of baggage that can now be released from the back of your, your chakras, the back of your body. So now that the ancestral deep ancestral program is cleared, I'm just going to release the past from you. So just visualize your soul light now shining into the back of your body, just releasing the past, releasing all the negative energy of the past, releasing all the ancestral programmings which kind of keep you linked into old consciousness letting that all go i'll just do some cord cutting some releasing we're going to release from you any obligations any responsibilities any traditions any rules regulations laws that have been passed down any oppression suppression and control that may be keeping you locked in old paradigms we're going to ask for that to be shifted out now so just allowing it to all release There we go, there we go, there we go. Some of you guys, I'm just going right to the back of the sacral chakra and doing a very big clear out at the back of your sacral chakra, which I think is to do with a lot of money issues. Poverty consciousness, lack, can't have this, can't have that restriction. You know, life has to be a certain way you know because really that sacral chakra is all about freedom and connection and abundance you know so i'm just going right into the sacral chakra so just allow it to detox i just feel like you just need to let go of a lot of old consciousness there family consciousness let it go good i'm gonna so we're gonna send light into the back of your body now just rehealing your body rehealing your auric field rehealing the chakras there so just letting waves of light and love come back in because really ultimately the universe is your mother the universe is your father you know the universe is your family so just really letting the universal energy come in behind you that universal vibration of love coming behind you to support you Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, that feels much better. So just feeling like, the, can we teach you that the universe is your family, that love itself is your true family? And that within you, you have your all the information inside of you to be your own family. And just let love surround you. Let love support you. Let love come from to the front of you, to the sides of you, behind you. And just feel what it feels like to be held by love, supported by love, honored by love, recognized by love, and letting love birth more and more of you into life. Can we now 
call into your body or help awaken more of you. So let's awaken. Actually, before we do that, can we release from you any corrupted genetic or DNA information that may, may create illness or warped consciousness from you? So you're just going to allow light to go through all your DNA, helping to shift, clear the information that you no longer that no longer resonates with your highest truth, allowing it to go. We finished the meditation. That's one good thing. It, it completed itself and then it stopped. People, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it was a really big topic. It was actually, do you know, family is quite a heavy topic, heavier than we realize, much heavier than we realize. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much heavier than we realize. Um, but yeah, I'm sending you guys lots and lots of love. I th you know what? You know, these meditations, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen, no clue whatsoever. But I thought what was really interesting, for me anyways, um, was the fact that you could birth yourself, you know, birth mother's love through you, birth father's love through you, and the fact that you actually have all that information inside of you already, I thought was really, really quite beautiful and really, really quite profound. So don't ever, ever, ever feel like you've got missing things because actually, you just need to send your awareness and send your intention and just allow that new energy, that new sensation to birth through you. You guys know it. It's inside of you. It's deeply, deeply inside of you. So that's what you need to start moving into. I mean, that was my biggest takeaway from this session because, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. And so that was, that was a very powerful moment for me just to notice that as well. Thank you. Have an amazing day. Um, you've also got access to my free Rebirth Into Love. So if you want to go back and revisit some of this stuff, um, about conception, wound time, um, healing your family patterns, then there's some really good, fam there's actually a family healing one in there, in, in the Rebirth Into Love, I'll send a, a link to it. But there's one specifically for conception, like taking yourself back to the womb space and birthing yourself, and then there's another meditation for rebirthing, um, for, for healing the family pattern, and also inner child healing as well. So there's three really cool meditations which would go really well with what we've done today. So if you want to go deeper, check out that link as well. I'll repost it up again somewhere thank you love you guys have an amazing day yeah bye